Our legacy isn't what we write on a resume or how many commas we have in our bank account. It's who we're lucky enough to have in our lives and what we can leave them with. The one thing we do know, we're here now. So I say we do the best we can while we're on this side of the dirt. And that's what I think about my legacy. Henry, remind me again why we can't put you in a gifted school. Because it's better for my psychosocial development for me to interact with a peer group at a normal school environment. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. There's a new film in cinemas which opened last Friday, which is currently being hailed as the clear contender to sweep the board at the Razzies this year, the awards for the worst films of the year. No, it's not Transformers The Last Night, although that has got very bad reviews. It's The Book of Henry, which critics are calling the most misjudged movie, not only of the year, but of recent memory. The film is directed by Colin Trevorrow, who directed Jurassic World and is about to direct a new Star Wars movie. And when you compare it to those massive projects, it's a relatively small, personal project, $10 million, a family Peter. drama. The story hey. is a single mother is it's raising two Henry. kids, and one of them is a I'd genius, Henry. However, the story is also about cancer, and death, and grief, and child abuse, and get this, murder. Yep, that's right. And many reviewers have just watched the film and said, how could you possibly take these subjects and put them in a film which is quirky? Offbeat, schmaltzy, popcorny, somehow meant to be uplifting with its bouncy score. Colin Trevorrow started out making a film called A Safety Not Guaranteed, which was a sort of big indie hit. People really, really loved it, and that's how he ended up getting The Lost World. And he has said that reading the reviews of Book of Henry, he has been genuinely disheartened and not a little surprised. I mean, he really didn't see this coming. People said, how can you not have seen this coming? Look at the subject matter of the film. Look at the, the manner in which the film treats these subjects. But I have to confess, having seen Book of Henry and thought it was woefully misjudged, I felt slightly sympathetic for the director. Look, anyone who's ever written anything or made a film or done a painting or made a sculpture, whatever, must be aware of that feeling that you make something, you're close to it, you can't see it for what it is, and then you put it out in the public space and suddenly somebody says, hang on, that's terrible. And you suddenly go, oh, it is. I've done something really stupid. And I get the feeling that that must be a little bit what it's like for the director. I know that every time I write a review, there's always a moment of panic before the review is published. You know, I write it and I check it and I recheck it and I fact check it and I want to make sure there's nothing stupid in it. But there's always that worry that the minute it's actually in print, someone's gonna go, hang on a minute, that's completely stupid. And you'll suddenly go, oh, yes, it is. How did I not notice that? Richard Curtis was once being interviewed and he said that a critic had pointed out that he had made two films that were exactly the same and it wasn't until he read the critic pointing it out that he went, oh, I have, I've made the same film twice. Look at the recent career of Will Smith. I mean, recently Will Smith has made Collateral Beauty, a film the very premise of which is absolutely jaw-dropping. A few years before that, we had a film called Seven Pounds, which again, when you're reviewing it, all you have to do is say, here's the plot. How well do you think that worked out? But the problem is, it's not that simple. I mean, look at two films that are out at the moment that I love. My, My Life is a Courgette. Like a it's a stop motion <laughs> animation about child abuse. Well, that's not really what it is. It's a lot of different things, but you could say that. As for The Red Turtle, a film which I think is one of the most sublime animations I've ever seen, I've heard people do plot synopses of The Red Turtle that make you go, ooh, don't do that, and particularly don't do that in an animated feature. There's a film made by Jerry Lewis that I've spoken about before called The Day the Clown Cried that was never released because when it was finished, Lewis looked at it and went, oh, actually, you know what? No. And the few people that have seen bits of that film agree. They say it's spectacularly misjudged, yet while he was making it, he thought it was okay. My point is this. It's very easy to laugh at filmmakers. It's very easy to throw your hands up and say, how on earth could you possibly have got it this wrong? My contention is that everyone who has ever made anything has had that prickly feeling, that worrying feeling, that anxiety that they may have just done something really stupid, but they don't know until the audience tell them. And on that level, he has my sympathies. We have to make it better. Come to this dark.